Hello guys, today we're going to see how to create a 3D letter in Cinema 4D. I have opened a document on Cinema 4D and I'm going to take the spine tool to create a path. I click and hold here and I select the spline pen. The letter I'm going to draw is a Greek letter but it works the same way with any other shape. So I'm going to click and drag and I drag because I would like to add handling guides. I do the same with the other anchor points to create a letter. I press escape or this button here to escape the spine. I can also click and edit on the anchor points to improve the shape. As you can see the spline has been created here. Don't think about why you don't have this object, you should only have this one. So now I'm going to add a sweep, so I'm going to this button here, I click and hold and I select sweep. Now I'm going to add another shape, which will be a circle, so I click and hold here and I select the circle, which will be the width of the line. So what I need to do now is to take the circle, I click and hold, and I leave it when I see the arrow pointing down, like that. Now I'm taking the spline, and I'm going to leave it here when the arrow is pointing to the left. Now because the circle is huge, I'm going to reduce the size by changing the radius here and I'm going to make it 2 cm or probably 1.5 Now I would like to add caps at the end of the lines because if you notice at the moment it is flat so with the sweep selected, I'm going to caps and I'm increasing the size here in order to make it smoother, I will add more segments. There it is. Now I need to edit the path a little bit because I don't want the lines to be on top of each other. So I rotate again. By the way, you can navigate with buttons 1, 2 and 3. If I press 1 and click and hold, it moves that way. If I press 2 and click and hold, it zoom in and out. And if I press 3 and click and hold, moves this way. At the moment I can't see the path so I can't edit it so I'm going to select sweep. I have the basic selected and click on x-ray. Now when I click on the spine I can see it here. I click here on the anchor point just make sure you have these two buttons selected and I move it forward. The same as this point. We can also use the rotation tool, like this, to make a curve on the line. Once you are done with adjusting the shape, you can go back to sweep and uncheck the x-ray. Now if I render it, you will see that the appearance is very plain. So what I need to do now is to add the material to change the texture and how it looks. I'm going to use this material, but I'm going to show you how I created it. So I double click on the empty space here. Then I can edit the material either here on this panel, either by double clicking. There are a lot of settings to edit, like the color, uh, reflectance, it can be glowy or even transparent. But for now I'm going to keep only color and uh, reflectance as the default. So I have selected the color and I'm going to change the color to a light blue. And also I can edit the reflectance. I can also change the color. So I'm going to use a pink color. Ok, I think it is good enough. So I'm going to select the material, I click and drag and add it to the sweep. We can check how it will look by going to render view. 
and if we are not happy we can double click on the material again and continue editing it. Now we're going to add some lights, so I'm going here on the light, I click and hold and I select the first option. You can select any other light but I will go with the standard one. If you see it has appeared here, so I'm going to move it higher and a bit to the left. Probably bring to front a bit. If I render now, you can see how it will be. You can edit also the settings of the light here, but for now I'm going only to add a shadow. And I think it will look much better if I add a couple of more lights. So we can either go and add it in the same way or duplicate this one. So I'm going to copy and paste it by pressing Command or Control C and then Command or Control V. I'm going to move this one on the other side. Also I will add another one, probably this on the back. I think it looks fine. I could also add a background but I'm not going to add now. I will show that in another tutorial. So I'm going to edit the render settings by going here. You can edit the dimensions, the resolution, I keep it on 300. You can set the location of where it will be saved. The file format, I'm going to leave it to PNG and also you can click on alpha channel if you'd like to have a transparent background. In this case you will be able to add the background in Photoshop or use it in another project like an animation or something. Uh, I will keep the multipath selected and the Avian conclusion and I will render it with a standard renderer. So I'm going to click X and click on the middle button to start the rendering process. Depending on your computer specs, the rendering process may be quicker or last longer. And this is how it will be the export if you select the PNG file format and click on the alpha channel. So that was it for today, I hope you liked this tutorial and if you use it for your own designs, feel free to tag me on social media, you can find me at AngeloKNF. See you on the next video.